The following is an NTV Newfoundland and Labrador news checkpoint. Good evening, everyone. Well, it was an election that was a little bizarre at times. Today, finally, voters in Grand Falls, Windsor, Buckins went to the polls. Susan Sullivan running for the Conservatives, Junior Downey for the NDP, and John Woodrow for the Liberals. A full month after the general election. Here are the results from this evening's vote. A 58-year-old fisherman, meanwhile, has died following a training accident with the Coast Guard over the weekend. Dennis Chalk of Charlottetown died in hospital yesterday after his 35-foot longliner capsized in Terranova National Park in Claude Sound on Sunday. Several investigations are underway, but the Fisheries Union is already saying that the Coast Guard never should have held the training exercise in the midst of a storm over the weekend. The Coast Guard is also looking into the situation. Their investigation also ongoing. Well, the new justice minister has expressed serious concerns about the treatment of a 14-year-old boy by police and social services officials in Labrador. Jerome Kennedy met with the media today to talk about the treatment of a 14-year-old who was held in the Happy Valley Goose Bay lockup for 10 days and was not permitted to wash or see his family. A judge described his treatment as pathetic. Today, Mr. Kennedy said He's going to meet with the acting commissioner of the RCMP to ensure that something like this never happens again. And again, the investigation's ongoing. Looks like we're going to see a little bit of uh, cold weather over the next little while, hopefully heating up a little bit tomorrow, some sunshine and cloud for some areas tomorrow. That's our checkpoint. Have a nice evening, everyone.